Hey everyone, Django here. Uh, this is my TCS contest saver. Fortunately it didn't win, but that's okay. I had fun getting it out of my head. This is a, a work in progress saver. I, I started basically with the emitter here, which I commissioned from Arm on Fire, and I knew I wanted to do a crystal chamber at the top and some AV switches. That's about it, and the idea grew along, along with the went, uh, with you know parts being released um, I decided on a choke and this and this was originally going to be an Imperial Knight pommel but I decided I wanted to use do something I could do a, a copper band with to match the emitter um, this was actually going to have uh, some MHS leaving too but I didn't end up doing that because um, Tim came out with these nice trim rings and they matched the emitter so well I just decided to go ahead and run with it um, some of the questions I had uh, sent to me as far as the uh, switches go, they are um, AV switches, they're not perpendicular to each other. Um, this one is actually a little bit short and that's why they can be mounted this way. Um, both of them are held in with the uh, bolts and a little bit of JB weld because I don't like them to come loose and sometimes with just the the uh, retention nuts themselves, they do come loose. Uh, the crystal chamber is um, on two MPI number sixes. It's got a large crystal in there. Um, and I did it in the suspended floating bracket thingy. Um, lots of people don't really agree with that. One should be mounted on one side, one on the other, or something like that. I just wanted it to do the little bands because I saw uh, I got my saber from Yoda a little while back and the crystal was kind of like free floating. <laughs> so I wanted to do something similar. Um, the cover tech knob is actually um, offset. Um, I really like the way this looks. So I'm going to uh, probably do this on a couple more sabers. I bought uh, a few of these uh, 1 4th double female 832 threaded rods and I'm on the lookout for these. So I'll. You'll be seeing some more of these from me. Um, let's see. Oh, and if you notice, I've been using the saber quite a bit. I, I've already worn off the paint down here on the grips. Everywhere else has pretty much uh, stayed solid, but down here on the grips, you know, the paint has come off a little, which is okay. I mean, it's used. So eventually, I'll get a powder coating set up, and I'll be able to uh, do powder coating fun stuff and make everything rock solid and queer coated and shiny all the time and whatnot. Well, let's go on to the demo. Oh, uh, as far as the rest of the specs go, uh, it's got a Lux V Bin 4 Blue up here as the main LED and a Crystal Focus 4.5, no, excuse me, 4.31 and two lithium ions as the main batteries. They are 146 uh, 50s or 00, zero I forget. But anyway. Your skills are complete. Django Kilkey, copper, to match the rest of the saber. Okay, this is the idle LED. And we'll go into the menu and see the sound fonts. Um, the brass button up here is the auxiliary button, by the way. Your skills are complete. Oops. Yeah, how many of these crystal focus ones have you done? Still don't know how to work them. Okay, we're going to use uh, Zen first because it uh, really shows off the crystal chamber. Some of Avatar's uh, custom boot sounds. That's got two LEDs in there. Uh, the one on the top on the button side is uh, cyan. The one at the bottom is tied to the uh, main blade, so it goes along with... It flashes right along with the blade. It's just plain blue. Uh, up here, 
wait, excuse me, down here, we have a cyan and a blue as well. As you can see here, the saber is really loud, and actually I had to turn it down because with the speaker right here, and then this up here open, very, very loud saber. And this has the anti-power off protection as well. That's a Shade Slinger's uh, Reaver font. All the rest of the sound fonts on here are by Novastar. You can get them and Shade Slinger's off of his CDs, one and two. Episode five, remastered. Yeah, let's go with Resblade. Indeed you are powerful as the Emperor has foreseen. All those uh, boot sounds you've heard uh, when the saber is booting up are by Avatar. He will have a CD uh, as soon as he can. Okay, now for the blade and the fun stuff. This is a TCS uh, white transparent blade. Got an oxymoron on there. Uh, this, excuse me, this is the blade retention screw. Nice little brass button head. Tip lights up. It's still daylight out, so it's going to look a little less bright than it normally does. If I turn the lights off, you get a better idea. Okay, that top one's blinking fast, but... to see the bottom one uh, flashing over along with the blade. Well, I had fun uh, building this for the contest. It's a fun saber for me. And a good use of a crystal focus. Thanks everybody for looking, and later.